Hello, beautiful people. Tedra Denise, your spiritual empowerment leader, human behavior consultant, and author here with you today. I am super excited. I'm always excited when I speak with you all, aren't I? I'm super excited today because God just revealed something to me, and I have to share it with you. Um, I was I was thinking about all the things that I have experienced in my life, experienced in my past, all the different things that um, that I went through. Yes, and and then thinking about where I am today, and not only where I am today, but where I am going. Um, and, and, it's, it's awesome and I have to share with you. I have to share with you because so many people out there, um, we, we, we look for other people to validate us. We look for other people to, to say, hey, and we don't need okay. that. We don't need that. We, 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 uh, oftentimes, we have fear of going forth in those things that God has called us to do that we know that we are supposed to do. It's deep on the inside of us. We know we're supposed to do it. We can feel it in our gut. And we heard the cry and the call of God for us to, to move in a certain direction. We know that there is this thing that God wants us to do, but we're afraid. We're afraid for so many different reasons. And one of the greatest reasons this is how people will receive us and what people will think. Well, today, look at the shirt I have on. Authentically me. God said, look at your shirt, girl. Look at your shirt. It says, authentically me. He said, all you need to do is be authentically you. Don't worry about what other people think, what other people are going to say. It does not matter. You know, let, let, me, let me tell you a few things. Let me share a few things with you. This is so awesome. And I know it's going to help somebody. It is going to help someone out there. I just published two books. The first book was I Arise, I Arise, Against All Lies, I Arise, which is a, a memoir of my childhood. In that memoir, I revealed some things that I had never, they were deep-rooted secrets, things that were down on the inside of me that I kept a secret because I was raised in that type of uh, environment that says what goes on in this house stays in this house. And lo and behold, there counselors, yeah, right. We didn't go to no, no counselors to, to talk about the things that was happening in our lives and we were experiencing that may be affecting us. No, not even as a teenager did I do that. And, and I didn't even do that as an adult. I had to go. God was my counselor, okay? <laughs> so, um, I just also, well, it's not released yet. It will be released July 9th. I'm the second book is My Story, God's Glory. And it is a collaboration of 13 women who tell their victorious story of how they have overcome various life situations. My story in that book is the pursuit of radical faith. Now, I want to go back to the first book because in that memoir, I reveal some things. And one of the things that I reveal is being a victim of molestation as a little girl. And I never told anyone about it. Guys, I held that secret. For 39 years, I held that secret and told no one. I told not a soul. My children didn't know. My brother didn't know. My family didn't know. No one knew the secret until I released this book. And, but in the process of doing it, there was a healing that took place. I'm sitting here before you all today, and I'm saying to someone that you think, you are thinking that you can't do that thing that God has called you to do because of your past. You are thinking that how can God use me? How can God use me if I've been molested, if I've been a teen parent, if I've been through uh, uh, domestic violence, if I've seen an experience, if I've seen domestic violence within my family like a parent, how can God use me if I've been divorced? How can God use me if I've had all these things in my life? How will God use me? And how will people receive me? They will judge me. Let me tell you, 
God says it does not matter what man says, what man thinks, what man believes, because it is not them who validates you. It is me who validates you. I validate you. I take all those things that have happened to you in your past and I turn them around for my glory so that you can take those situations and use them for purpose in kingdom building and to reach back and bring somebody else out of bondage, out of their struggle, out of that thing that is holding them down. They shall break free from your words. They shall break free from your victory. They shall break free from your triumph. It is those things that God will use to usher you into your purpose, the reason you were designed and created. So it is you who need to stand Arise and become authentically you. Don't be afraid of who you are. Don't be afraid of what you've been through. I've been homeless several times. I've been homeless. I stayed in the shelter. I, yes, I stayed in the shelter. God took me from zero to something. God has taken me from zero to success right now as I speak these words to you and I usher life into you. And I want you to know whatever you set your mind to, through Christ Jesus, you can do it. All you need to do is step out there in faith and know that it is not man who validates you. It's God who validates you. Think about Paul, one of the greatest apostles that's written in the book, that's in the book, and he's in the apostle that stands on Jesus, never saw Jesus Christ. Paul never saw Jesus Christ, but he's a great apostle apostle and stood for Jesus, stood for his principles, stood for kingdom building. He was an assassin. He persecuted Christians. He did all kinds of mean and evil things. He killed folks, but God used him for his glory, turned his life completely around. He can turn your life completely around and use it for your glory. If you know who you are, and you stand strong in who you are and you become authentic in who you are not fake you don't have to put on any showcase for anyone no more hidden identities be real be real be real because that's who god will use he will use the authentic you amen i am super excited Yes, I am, because somebody today is going to choose to be authentically them. This is Tedra Denise, your spiritual empowerment leader, your human behavior consultant and author. Look me up, find me, and allow me to help you to become authentically you. Amen. Bye for now. I cannot wait to speak with you again. Have a super fantastic day. God bless each of you. Thank you for watching this channel. I pray that you subscribe and like this page and share it with others that it may benefit and be of value to. Look me up on other social media platforms and the information for this book or the book spoken of is in the description. Have a super fantastic day.